Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on WSO2 API Cloud, the fastest way to publish your APIs on the Internet. In this tutorial, we will substitute the default URLs used in API Cloud by some custom URLs that we own. For this configuration change, we will need to create DNS records pointing our custom URLs to the API Cloud and SSL certificates for these URLs. I do not have these yet, so let's start with creating the certificates. I will use the Open SSL utility to generate a private SSL key and certificate request file for my custom URL. I can then go to the certificate vendor of my choice and use this certificate request to obtain the SSL certificate for my domain. Any certificate that gets accepted by browsers will work. When I finish the process, I typically receive an email with the certificate for my domain as well as the Certificate Authority's root and intermediate certificates. We use the CAT utility to concatenate these root and intermediate certificates into a single file. Now that we have the certificate files, we go to our DNS domain registrar and add CNAME records pointing to the API Cloud's custom DNS endpoint. We save the two CNAME records. Now that all prerequisites are met, we can go to API Cloud and pick the Configure Custom URL menu. We first configure the API Store URL. This is what subscribers enter into a browser to get to your API community site. We start by providing the new URL. API Cloud verifies whether a CNAME record for this URL exists. If the verification is successful, we can proceed with the certificate files. First, we upload the certificate file for this new URL. Then, we add the private key that we generated on our computer. And finally, we add the chain file that we got by concatenating the root and intermediary certificates. We then apply the changes and proceed with a similar process for the gateway. The gateway API is what your subscribers will use for that actual API invocation. Once we are done, we can start using the new URLs. Indeed, we can see that the API Store is now available under our new URL instead of the generic WSO2 one. APIs themselves now also belong to the new Gateway URL that we provided. In this tutorial, we created DNS records for our custom URLs, generated SSL certificates for them, and then made the API Cloud use these new URLs for the API Store and Gateway. To learn more and sign up for WSO2 API Cloud, go to wso2.com forward slash cloud.